Moscow, Russia, minus 20 degrees Celsius is what greeted the spectators and athletes for stop number three of the Red Bull Crash Dice World Championship Series 2011. It was freezing cold, but the atmosphere and action were heating up as the competitors focused on the race to the World Championship title. This one's for the boys. Quarterfinal action with current world champ Marty Neefnecker in tough against Scott Crooksall. Through the wood ride section of the course, Neefnecker had passing momentum at a clean outside line, but was fouled by Crooksall, who was a DQ after video review. Neefnecker also unfortunately eliminated again in the quarters. I like the trick, uh, through really comfortable with the track and I get fouled by uh, Scott Croxler, so I'm really angry. Semi-final number one and out of the gate, R2 Pilainen in red with an explosive start getting the whole shot. And he controls this heat from start to finish, advancing to the finals, along with the silver-bibbed Swiss powerhouse Killian Brown. <laughs> Semi-final number two and Kyle Croxall in red, using his power and size to take an early lead, and he holds that across the finish line to continue his pursuit of a world championship title. Fabian Mels from Germany in blue also makes it to the final, his first this season. The lineup for the final, Pilainen, Kroxall, Brown and Mels. Good clean start for all four athletes. Pilainen again explodes out of the gate. Fabian Mels face plants, losing position and Kyle Kroxall moves into second, looking for a passing lane, but Pilainen has tactical advantage and blocks him all the way down. Pilainen wins his second event of the season and takes a stranglehold in the overall standings. It was good track for me and I managed to do almost five clean runs. I had little problems in the final after the steep part, but uh, luckily I got my balance back. Whew, what a race. Third place goes to Swiss Killian Brown, second to Kyle Kruxall, and your winner here in Moscow is the Finnish Flash R2 Pilainen. Kyle Kruxall is still in good position to attack at the final event in Quebec, Canada. Everything is possible. Kyle is so close, nothing has really happened, and the uh, track is so different, it's so much longer there, so you need some different skills there, more stamina, and anything can happen. I won it last year, so hopefully I can do the same thing again. That's all you can really do is hope to uh, hope to come out with the, with the win. Make sure you tune in on March 19th for the grand finale from Quebec, Canada.